yesterday. Yesterday was our sort of high intensity session. Oh, everyone's disappeared. <laughs> okay, there you are. All right. Let's stand up, rolling the shoulders, loosening up. So today is a bit more sort of slow and controlled, using the band, really getting those shoulder blades working, getting the abs connected, and a few surprises here and there. <laughs> Good, and round the back, and open. And rounding the back. Good, just two more like that, really round. Tuck your head under and back. So almost like you're hugging a ball. And open. One last one. Nice. Grab your band for the warm up. Okay. So you're going to hold your band like this in your hand. So it's on top of a flat hand, thumbs on the top. Elbows in at your waist. Tilt your belly button so you squeeze and connect it and you're going to lift your chest and pull the band open as you look up at the ceiling. So lift, squeeze your shoulders down and back and relax. So from the side, you're really thinking of squeezing, you're opening up, you're lifting your chest but I'm not answering my back so I'm keeping that connected and relax. Get a little bit more resistance and pull open. Breathe out, looking up, open up your chest. And down. This is for everyone who sits at a desk all day. Last one. Good. Nice. Take the band, hold it out in front of you. Come in and just pull the band out and in. Just warming up those shoulders. Good. Breathing out as you open. Keep your shoulders down and back. Don't let your shoulders come up to your ears. Pull those shoulders down and back. Opening up, just doing a little bit different. This does work though, it is an exercise, even though it's in our warm up. Good, now take the band behind you. I love it. I know. Try and get it nice and flat on your, on your back. So open it up. Okay. And again, I'm going to do it here so you can see me. I'm holding it here like this. And standing up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, tummy in. You're going to open, take your hands out in front of you, look up at the ceiling, lift your chest, and back. And if I show you from the side, breathe out, lifting up your chest. So I'm opening, I'm not arching my back, I'm tucking under, but I'm opening up my thoracic spine, and relax. And two more. Breathe out, pull your belly button in, but lift your chest, look up at the ceiling, pull the arms away from you, and back. And one more. Looking up at the ceiling, open up the chest. Nice, make sure you're lifting your chest, pull those arms open, and back. Very nice. Drop the band down for now, standing at the back of your mat, and we're going to do two roll downs. So breathing in, arms by your side. Breathing out, pull your belly button in towards your spine, tuck your head down, and curl down, vertebra by vertebra. Soften your knees, and hang down to the floor. Good. On a breath out, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Start turning up one vertebra at a time. Your neck is the last thing that comes up. And up, and open. Good. One more like that. Breathing in. And out. Pull your belly back in towards your spine. Tuck your chin onto your chest. Relax the arm. Keep that belly button pulled in as you go down. One do it at a time. All the way down. Good. Relax the head down. Relax the knees. And breathing out. Coming in and curling up. Stacking one vertebra on top of the other. And coming up. Good. Last one. And then we're going to walk out into a plank. Breathing in. And out. Curling down. Come eat those. Pulling all the way. Curling down to the floor. Once you're at the floor, walk your hands out into a plank. Holding it there. Come down into a downward dog. Just have a good stretch. 
and come down onto your knees. Putting your right leg in front of you. Hands on the floor, slide that back knee back. And we're going to roll the hips side to side. Good. Getting a nice stretch. So yesterday's session was quite intense. I know you weren't there, or the, the Malango of work. And stretching back. So we're going to do a, a more controlled Pilates class today. Just try to mix it up. And stretch. And straighten that knee out. Nice. If anyone has any injuries, I know of Lucy and Phil. So if there's anything that I think you should sit out for or do something different, I'll let you know. And back. Nice. One last time. Good. And change legs. So now I've got my left leg in front. Knee over ankle, hands on the floor, slide that right leg back. So you really get a nice stretch in the front hip flexor and roll the knee side to side. Ooh, I had a nice big kick in my hip, sure. <laughs> I love that. Go forward, man. And rolling side to side. Good. Straighten the front knee. Stretching back and going forward. And back. Oh, nice stretch. And forward. Good. Two, three more. And forward. Two more. Really stick your bum out. So you've got to stretch all the way from the, the, the insertion of the hamstring on your sit bone. Nice. Come facing the side. So my left leg is now up straight. I'm still on my right knee. Hands on the floor and I reach over. And now the top arm, you reach and you rotate your shoulders to the floor and back. This is called the mermaid stretch, by the way. And breathe out and you rotate. Good. Just two more. And really stretch here in the middle and your back. Reach that arm forward. And reach. And coming through to the other side. Nice. And twist, rotate down and up. And rotating down. Reach that top arm away from you, really reach. Oh, that's lovely. Make sure you can feel the stretch here on your side. Two more. That's it. And last one, reach and come down into horse cut from there. Try and have your ankles facing forward, that's it. Hands, arms between, arms between your knees, and rock side to side. This is when you really hope you don't have holes in your in your leggings. <laughs> I just have to have a quick check. <laughs> nice, good. Stay there. Hands on the floor, and reach your bottom up to the ceiling, and back down, and up. Relax the head when you come up, and down. Good, two more, and down, and last one, and curling the spine up all the way. Okay, grab your band, we're going to start with some upper body, and we're going to work with the band mostly for the next sort of half hour or so, the, the end will leave the band, but just trying to get something different. So, stand on the band with your feet. And standing up nice and tall. Okay, so I've got the band here. Lucy Lou, if this hurts your elbow, don't do it. Okay, if this hurts your elbow, we're going to be doing a bicep curl. So see how your elbow feels? If it's sore, rather just do, you can do the arm series like this maybe. Okay, right. So, stick yourself. Now, with this, because it's slow and control, we really want to connect. So you can either use weights or your chins, that's perfect, or the band, tummy in. So we're going to, from here, tuck your bum under, shoulders down and back, tummy squeeze in, really lift the pelvic area, and let's go, bicep curl, and up, breathe out to come up, notice my back doesn't move at all as I'm doing this, M, have your feet a little further apart, or just have the band on one foot if your band is too short, squeeze, tummy in. Keep lifting that tummy up. 
Uh, put your belly button in towards your spine. Squeeze your bum. Shoulders down and back. So really the biceps is almost just the accessory. I want you really to connect. Bum, tummy, shoulders down and back. Keep going with the biceps for three. Two. Good. And one more each side. If you've got a band that's too small, you can have done that sorry, without that. Right. Now, stand, keep it there, standing. So maybe grab the band if it's not too loose, you could do this. We're going to go back. So, bend forward, tummy in, shoulders down and back, back nice and flat. And we're going to lift. Pulse to the ceiling. With the band, try and squeeze, tummy in. Shoulders down and back. Really pull those shoulder blades towards your sacrum. Pulse. Put your tummy 
Let's go in three, two, one. Punch. Make sure your punches go forward. Twist at the waist. Tummy in all the time. Every time you punch, I want you to imagine your abs are pulling you across. So you've got slings going across here. That's what you want. Shoulders down and back though. Tummy in. That's it. Keep going. Nice. Good. Arms have to work hard. 
keep a band on their tooth. Tummy in all the time. Good. This is number 14. Really connect. 15, five more. Squeeze the bum. Push the floor away with your heel. Keep the hands flat on the floor. Nice. Three. Two. Really pull the tummy in. And one. Hold it there. Pulse the knees together. Keep that resistance of the band. Pull your tummy in. Squeeze your bum. Tilt. Tummy in. Ten. Nine. Squeeze. Seven. Six. Five. You should be feeling it. Four. Three. Two. And one. And curl it down. Always finish the movement. Take the band above your head, holding it, have some resistance, pull the band apart, legs in tabletop, and we're going to do single leg stretch, right knee bend, left leg stretch, and change, tummy in, keep pulling the band apart, lift your tailbone, good, keep it there. Make sure your number sign is pushing to the mat. Connect. Hold the band. Five. Four. Tummy in. Three. Lift your tailbone. Two. And one. And relax. Hug your knees into your chest. Very nice. Okay, come and sit up with your legs out in front of you. Okay, band around your feet. Get it to the flat around your feet. So open up the band so it's not all crumpled. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Arms out straight in front of you. So enough resistance that your arms are out nice and straight. Come and pull them nice and tight. Shoulders down and back. Keeping your feet together, we're going to twist pulling the band into my ribs. As I twist this way, so I'm twisting to my right, the temptation is for my right hip to go back and my feet to become uneven. So I've got to really work to almost push that right hip forward as I twist back. And back, nice. So now I'm twisting to my left, and I've got to push my left leg forward. And back, otherwise it wants to slide back with me. Twist. Shoulders down and back. Tummy in and to the left. Breathe out as you twist. Remember to push that, up, that hip forward. Right. My hand is facing up to the ceiling. And back. Tummy in, lift. Squeeze the shoulders down. And back. Twist to the right. Squeeze that shoulder blade down. Put it into your waist. Hold it there and back. Left. Make sure you push the left leg forward. Two more each side. Nice. And back. Shoulders down and back. Twist. Good. Breathe out as you twist. Last one each side. Come in and back. Last one. And back. Very nice. Get your mat for your knees. We're going to do a push up on the knees and we're going to put the band around our back so the band is on the whoop, don't do that you have it under your arms lace them low so band is around, around my back under my arms I'm going to go into a push up on the floor with the band so from here I'm doing my normal push up but I've got a little bit more resistance Tummy in, shoulders down the back. If you don't want to use the band for this, you really don't have to. This is just adding a little bit of extra resistance. Okay. So, let's go. Three, two, one. Shoulders down, tummy in, and bend. And so you're pushing up against the band. Two. Tummy in. Three. Four. Tummy in, shoulders down. Very nice. Make sure you don't ask the back. Seven. Eight. 
nine, and ten. Very nice. Come back into child pose. Relax the band a little bit. Have a little stretch. Loosen up. If you want to grab a sip of water now, you can. Good. Okay. We're going to leave the band now. You might be happy to hear. <laughs> okay, come and lie on your side. So, sorry, let me get that band mat under my elbow. Right, you're going to lie on your side in a half plank. Elbow under your shoulder. We're doing the can plus lift. So, we're going to lift up. Take step eight and forward. We're going to open that knee. I don't roll back though, so the hip bones must stay forward. Let's go 10 on each side in 3, 2, 1, let's go. And down. Feet stay together, knees open, hips stay facing forward. So sort of squeezing in the bum. 4. Pull your tummy in, shoulders down and back. 5. Seven. Eight. Lift and squeeze. Nine. And ten. And down. Very nice. Other side. Sorry, the reason I move my mat all the time is because of my black outfit. You can never see what I'm doing if I'm on my mat. And I don't wear any other colours to just wear. Okay, setting up. Elbow under your shoulder. Make sure it's not too far, far out. Make sure it's right under. Shoulders away from your ears. Tummy in and let's go. Lift and open. And down. Two. Three. Four. Lovely tummy and make sure the hip doesn't roll back. Five. So you should really feel the tip. Bend your knees. Make sure your knees are nice and bent. Your feet are behind you. Six. Seven. Very nice. Eight. Squeeze. Nine. Last one. Ten. Very nice. Come lie on your side. Stay that same side, you're going to lie down, Hand, head on your arm, bring your legs in front of you. So both legs come forward, so this is straight, I bring them about 30 degrees in front of me. Okay, top hand in front of your chest. Now from here, I lengthen this top leg away, so it's almost like someone's pulling my foot away from me, so it lifts up my waist. Roll that top hip forward. So I'm about 45 degrees, my top hip to the floor. And now from here, lift that foot up and down. One. Tummy in. Two. You should feel it here. Three. Four. You won't be able to lift your leg high. Five. Make sure you roll forward. Six. Seven. You want the muscle that's working to face the ceiling. Lengthen it. Nine. And ten. Hold it there. Little circles. Eight one way. Tummy in. And then eight the other way. Other way. Tummy in. Roll the hip forward. Now hold that leg there. Roll back onto your underneath bum cheek. And lift the other leg up and down. And down. As you lift, connect. Three, four, your top leg stays still, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and legs down, arm out now, and we're going to slide and come up onto our side, so from here, top arm along your side, we're going to roll back and lift. Let's go for 10. 1. And down. 2. Breathe out to come up. Beautiful. 3. Lengthen the 
and look at your feet as you come up. Beautiful long neck. Shoulders down and back. 
your arms if it helps you. You can do anything you want. Nice. And down. Now we're getting serious. Tummy in, shoulders down and back. Good. And go down a little bit more, but you mustn't be relaxed down there. I'm still working. Emmy, drop down. Bum down. Down. That's it. Nice. Good job. And up a little bit. Hold it there. You've got to be able to get that range so you can see a difference. It's not just holding it in one spot. It's going up and down. So we hold it there. Shoulders down the back. Up a little bit. I'm still in the squat. Weight back through my heels. I want to be able to see the difference. Come in, shoulders down and back. Do what you want to make it feel easier. Come in. This is good, guys. We still need to get it over halfway. Up a little bit more. Don't ever straighten your knees if you can help it. Have you pulled in? Shoulders down and back. Lift your chest. I like moving my arms. It gives me something to do. <laughs> Nice. We've got one minute. Let's go down just a little bit. This minute is the minute that counts. You. Tony pulled in all the time. Shoulders down and back. Join us when you can. And drop. We've got 40 seconds, guys. We've got this. Tony in. Drop down. 30 seconds. We've got those guys. We need a Drop a little bit more. We've got 15 seconds. Drop down. Bum down. Emmy. Nice. That's a guy. Not right now. <laughs> Don't be right. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. And relax. Oh. Well done, you guys. You rock. Three minutes. Okay, come lie on your back. We're going to finish off with some abs. Well done. Whew. Okay, lie on your back. Legs in tabletop. Hands behind your head. We're going to do three bicycles and then roll to the side. So we're going to go one, two, three, and roll. And back. Okay, we're going to go for 10. Let's go in 3, 2, 1. Look at your pubic bone. 1, 2, 3, roll. 1, 2, 3. Use your abs to bring you back. 2, 3. Head and shoulders stay up.
Very nice. Well done, guys. So although it was low intensity as such, I can feel my whole body like shaking inside. It's amazing. Good. Bend your knees quite wide and roll your knees down to the one side and then to the other. So both knees are rolling down the same way and change. Arms up above your head, so a nice stretch. And rolling side to side. That's it. Good. Good. Put your right ankle over your left knee and pull your left thigh towards you. Right elbow pushes the knee out. And this is stretching your right glute. So you should feel it here. And change legs. Left ankle over right knee. Pull the right thigh in. Good. So you can feel that left glute. Use the elbow to push that knee out. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. And let's just do three roll like a ball to help you start the back up. Hands on your shins. Lift your head and shoulders, look at your cubic bone, and breathe out to roll up. And stop and balance, and down. Stay like a ball. And last one, hold it there. And coming up. Well done, guys. Roll out the wrist. Nice. So again, a different class. If you do it, if you're really connecting, you can actually really work quite hard. Often we work harder working slower than when we pumping up and down. Thank you so much. Well done to all of you. Thank you. And we'll see some of you tomorrow.